Hello everybody and welcome back to Sporks and Dorks and today we're having another $5 fill up box. They were supposed to give me a drumstick but they ran out so they gave me two thighs and they were like do you want a wing and my grandma was like no we want two thighs and they were like we got you and we have a cookie mashed potatoes and we paid a dollar more for um macaroni and cheese and if you want it was six Fifty-four. Where's my receipt? Yes, six fifty-four. Bam! I got it. I know my number. Six fifty-four. That's how much all of this costs. You get a cookie. You get mashed potatoes. You get um, a biscuit. You get a drink. You get two pieces of chicken and macaroni for a dollar. So it turns out to be six fifty-four. If you didn't get the macaroni, it'd be five fifty-four. So it wouldn't be five fifty-four. It'd be like five. 30 something? I don't know. Something like that. Anyways, let me taste everything and then I'll tell you guys what we're going to talk about today. Who doesn't love KFC mashed potatoes? I love them. If you don't love them, somehow, you're, you're almost as bad as people who don't eat bread. Macaroni is not bad. I just don't eat it often because it's never like hot. We're gonna save the cookie for last. That's if I want it. I'm not a big sweet person. This is high C, by the way. Okay. Let's get into it. Um something I should say up front. When you watch my mukbangs, um, from a lot now, you know, I like to talk about informative things, and one of my favorite parts of history to talk about in places, Oh man, hold on you guys, I'm making a mess already. Did you hear that? I had to scrape it off. It's ancient Egypt. And, um... It's ancient Egypt, and today I want to talk about, um... His name is Emo... Imhotep. Imhotep. I hope I'm saying it right. I, I I look I remember him because he um I learned about him in class in the like sixth grade. And I've remembered who he is because um one that day was like and to, um, my teacher who was teaching that class, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, yes. My teacher who was teaching that class, I really enjoyed how she taught. She was, um, I should say cut from a different cloth. She wasn't like a lot of teachers who just sit there and babble. She wants to talk and get in depth and she wanted to um, really, really find something that each person in the classroom really would have enjoyed to learn about. But unfortunately for her, most of the people in the classroom were dicks. Were horrible jerks. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my teacher. It's from sixth grade. So, um, um, I, I don't even think, to be truthful, she's with us anymore. So, R.I.P. Miss Rosencrans. Her name was Miss Rosencrans. She was 92 years old when, um, I went when I was in sixth grade. She, uh, she taught um, history, 
and she asked everybody in class what their favorite part in history was. Now, in the sixth grade, I knew exactly what part of history I enjoyed learning about, and that was only because when I was younger, way younger, um, my parents let, let us watch, like, history things on the Discovery Channel and stuff like that. And my dad uh, really liked to watch it with us and, like, talk about it even though we're so young. We still do it. Um, so, she went around the room and basically most everybody couldn't tell her part of history that they liked except for me. She had asked me, and you know, I told her up front, you know, it, I like anything about Egyptian, you know, history. I love everything about Egypt. It's, uh, it's an amazing place. I love the environment. I love the animals that live around there. I love, um, the people, the way they look, uh, their culture. And she was, like, flabbergasted that I was able to tell her all that. Now, <clears throat> I'm basically telling you guys the first day that I learned about, um, oh, my side. The reason why my side hurt isn't because of the food or anything. It's because, um, somebody at my school opened the door too fast and hit me in the side. So, uh, if you see me, like, uh, a little bit when I'm talking, it's because my side hurts. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh, my. So, when I told her, she was like, that's good because we're going to hit on that. And since you're one of the few people that can tell me, we'll stay on it a little longer. So, when we started to learn about history, we started to learn about the very first couple of, like, centuries. And at first, I didn't know, like, what dynasty, dynasty or century that I joined in. Like, I just generalized it was, like, all of it. But to be truthful, I don't love all of the history. So, she was teaching, and these kids were horrible to her. She's a 92-year-old woman, and she really enjoyed her job, no matter how rude the kids were, how loud they got. She really did enjoy teaching, and even though... Like, to this day, I don't want to be a teacher. I do give kudos to her because she was such a patient woman. An amazing woman. Um, so when we had a project to do, this is where, like, I started to learn about Imhotep, is because we had a project to do on a part of history that we enjoyed. And, um... We were to make something artistically. Mm. And if this is your first time visiting this channel, your first time getting to know me, I'm very artistic. I'm going to school to be a 3D artist, modeler, animator. Um, so when she said that, I was, oh my god, I was so crippled. 
I was like, let's get this on. Let's do this. And so I made the Sphinx out of um, clay. And she loved it. She enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But then she was like, you know, I for sure thought you were going to do one of Imhotep's, Imhotep's, um, uh, buildings that he made. And I was like, who is Imhotep? And you should have seen her face when I said that. She was like, you don't know who he is. And you love Egyptian art. Oh, you have things to learn. So, the very next day, the kids were getting out of control. And she was already mad because half the class didn't turn in their uh, homework. And I was like, There was two other kids in my class who had um, turned their homework in, and they were both named Michael, Michael A, and Michael B. You know, that's how they do it in uh, school. You're Michael A, and you're Michael B. Anyway, nobody was listening to her. Everybody was causing problems. So she sat down, and she started to talk to me about um, Imhotep and how he was... Not only an architect, but I would say almost he was practically one of the first geniuses. That's in my opinion. He was a very well-versed man. And when, um... If you hear something in the background, that's my sister's, Bob's Burgers. You know, I wanted to learn more, and I just, you know, the class wasn't going anywhere. She was getting frustrated that nobody really wanted to listen to her. So, um, I remember she kind of lost traction for a few months. Um, I kept up with the studies and, um, you know, I asked her some questions and she was really, um, surprised that I was motivated to learn about it. I know I haven't talked about much of what I've learned about, but it's probably nice to talk about my old teachers. So I was like, oh, hey, you know, I'm really interested in the next part of the history lesson because we're going to hit Egypt sh soon. And I really want to, you know, learn as much as I can. And she let me borrow a couple of her books about Egypt. Now, she wasn't a scholar on just Egypt or anything like that. She just had a lot of history books because she was a history teacher. And, um, when I was reading about Imhotep, when I got the book about him, I really was, oh my god, shh, listen, oh my god, like, I was like, wow, this is really good, he's an amazing guy. Yeah, but what I learned about him was... Hold on. Oh, well. It's a little bone. I'll eat it. 
that he was not only an architect, but some books that I had read and read now about him so that he was a priest of Ra. And if you don't know what Ra, who Ra is, he's a sun god. Kind of looks like a bird. He's got a bird head. He's a bird. Yeah. And, um, he wasn't, like, he wasn't really, I, I don't want to say glorified, but praised. He wasn't praised the time of hit when he was alive. People are pretty much appreciated after that I and that's pretty much what happened. Is um using a lot of napkins, but this is really greasy but really good. Anyway. Um he wasn't glorified during his like lifetime, which is like so sad because he was really good at what he did. Um he not only was a priest of Ra and um an architect, but he advised uh Jose Joser Joser, I think was the name of the Pharaoh. I don't know how to say his name, but I do know how to spell it. It's D J O S E R. So pronounce that how you may. Joe Sir, Joe Sir. I know I'm like saying that wrong. Anyway, let's get on. So, um, not immediately after his death, but a couple years after his death, they started to be like, wow. He was actually a really good guy. Really cool. He did a lot of stuff for us. He was good at what he did, too. And so... People started recognizing him and not like, oh, hey, on the street, but like, they started to be like, yeah, he was such a good, like, I want to give a comparison. I can't think of one. I know I'm terrible. I'm not the best at history, but I feel like um, learning is like... One of my favorite things to do, and if I get something wrong, then I got it wrong. I don't mind getting corrected. Anyways, again, though, that they were like, oh, I was such a good guy. Now, we should start talking about him in our writing. So, even 3,000 years after uh, he Imhotep's death, people were writing and talking about him in such a good manner because he was such. You know, a good person. <sighs> um, he did a lot of things. Um, let's go over some of the things he's known for. One of the huge things he's known for is oh, is medicine. He's up there pretty high on the people who are like the fathers. You know how there's a father of science and a father of math? He's up there with like people who are seen as such, right? There's a lot of fat on this one, you know? I think that's why they gave it to me.
anyways, he was good at math. He was, well, obviously, he's an architect. He was really good. He was good at science. He was good at medical. He was seen as a judge, a person who could judge others, rightfully so. Um... He, um, <laughs> oh no, some of you are going to be like, so what? But he wrote poetry. Um, he was seen as a good poet. He was such a good engineer, too. He had to be, like, I feel like he had to be such a good engineer for, like, what he did. Like, the buildings he built and what. Because it's so little of what we know of him, though. But with that, I enjoyed my mukbang. I hope you enjoyed my mukbang. Remember, if you want to get informed, you gotta hit the bell, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!